everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel boss of budgets and on this channel i do cash stuffing budgeting saving up challenges and all things money related in today's video i am going to be stuffing paycheck number three of june we're more than halfway there you guys and i'm just so excited for july and we're almost done with the first half of the year hopefully everyone made great progress with cash stuffing and i hope you guys made it to your money goals i do hope that you guys give this video a like or a comment or even possibly a subscribe and I just wanted to let you guys know that in this video I will be talking about a giveaway challenge. I wanted to reach 100 followers and I did that so please stay tuned for that and let's just jump right into the cash stuffing. This week so we're going to be stuffing $1,263. 1, 2, 3, 4, 455, 556, 657. That's 700. I'll leave the 50 aside to make it easier for counting. 20, 40, 60, 88. 20, 40, 60, 89. 20, 40, 60, 80, 10. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 11. So that's 1,100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, and 63. There you have it, you guys. Let me just start organizing everything and we can get into the stuffing. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your sweet comments. I really enjoyed taking time um, reading, responding, especially for those of you that want to start your budgeting journey. I really appreciate that you guys find me inspiring. That's exactly why I wanted to do this. I really wanted to share my journey and help those of you that are also struggling to become financially stable. Just wanted to say hello from California. Hope you guys are enjoying the warm weather wherever you guys are. First one that we're going to be stuffing is our weekly allowance, which I realize is not on my table right now. Let me go grab it from my bag. All right, so here she is. And a lot of you guys have been asking where I got this. I made this. I really like the design. Yeah, she has really curly hair, big eyes, and you know, really sharp eyebrows. Any indicator of who I am, um, that's it. I do have a dollar left over. Let me put this candle side. Let's use our ATM card. Cool. So let's take that out. And there you have it, you guys. I absolutely love it. I think it's great decor and such a cute piggy bank. Let's start stuffing. The first one is groceries, and groceries is going to be getting $70. My groceries literally always fluctuate. I don't really know how much I spend per week. Sometimes I spend a lot and sometimes I don't. Dining out is going to be getting 35. I am going to be celebrating Father's Day with my best friend. We always go and visit her dad, so probably going to be eating out after we visit him. Gas is getting 25 as usual. I'm lucky enough to work from home, so I don't really spend much on gas except for like pleasure. I think that's what it's called. I was going to say for luxury, but that's pretty much all I drive for. Personal is getting $5. Laundry is also going to be getting $5. And Meow is not going to be getting anything because I just finished buying personal hygiene stuff or down there. So I don't need to buy anything as of right now. That is it for my weekly allowance binder. So we're pretty much on a very tight budget right now, which is something that I'm very excited about. I want to be stricter on myself, even though it's summer and I know summer spending, you get a little crazy, but I'm going to be really strict on myself for the next two weeks. 
The next binder we're going to be stuffing is our pink binder. So this is the monthly expense binder. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this binder and I've also gotten a lot of compliments on the things that I'm stuffing just in general. I know that it may look pointless for some of you guys that I'm taking cash out for bills that I'm going to be eventually paying back into the same card or whatnot. It may be kind of silly to some of you guys but just the reason why I've been doing this is because I honestly want to show you guys what I've been doing and to help you guys know how much each of my expenses are and how much I made, how much I can afford. Hopefully that makes sense but I feel like you guys get a better insight of what's going on with my budget and hopefully you guys can work through your own basically. The first one we're going to be stuffing is car insurance and it's getting it's $35. up how much car insurance has 20 40 60 70 80 90 105 I'm just gonna open all of this real quick like usual anything that is in this envelope gets paid for next month i'm lucky enough to be one month ahead when i first started cash stuffing but if you guys are looking to start cash stuffing i do recommend making an envelope for one month ahead car note is getting 90 dollars now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. We need at least 350 in here so I'll hit it by next week. Jim is getting $10 so I'm just going to give it two fives. Honestly, I haven't really been going to the gym. 10, 20, 25, 30. And that's because I just haven't gotten back into the rhythm. But like I said last week, I'm really looking forward to going to the gym again and stress relieving myself. Ortho is going to be getting $50. 50, 9.70, So the weirdest thing happened to me, I told you guys last week that I was going to a bone specialist before I needed to get my braces. The bone specialist gave me his opinion, which is the same opinion that I had when I went in. I don't know if it was that much help. I don't know. The weirdest thing happened to me, so I been to dentist office before where you ask them for a service and they quote you how much the service is going to be right and then they can run your insurance card to see how much you owe how much you will pay as a patient out of pocket but the thing is i called into that office and i was like hey do you know how much i'm going to be paying out of pocket you know given my insurance is this and she was like okay so we charge 180 for this service but i won't know how much you'll have to pay until you get here i'm like okay i was like i can provide you my health insurance so that you can check it out and she's like no we don't do that i'm like all right i'll still go through with it because i i need it to get my orthodontist treatment and at the end of it she wasn't very pleasant so that's that i don't know if she was having a bad day or whatnot but yeah i was kind of standing there like okay do i pay you now how, how do i give you and she's like no we'll bill you and i was like oh, okay and she's like talking about other stuff and i'm like oh so how are you gonna bill me and she's like we're sending it to your house like super dead super blind I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I've never done this before. I've never had someone bill it to me. And she's like, yeah, well, that's what we do. I'm like, okay, have a nice day. That was like the weirdest experience. I don't know if you guys deal with that or if that happens to you guys, but I really thought that as a patient, I should know how much I'm paying out of pockets before I'm going to get a service. So anyways, that's what happened. All right, so phone service gets $50. 50, one, Subscription is going to be getting at $25. 50, 1, 50. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 75. Car registration is going to be getting at $10. 
and I finally realized which month I think I'm supposed to be paying 400 My sticker says December on the back of it, so the letter's probably going to come in by October. Now it has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. I seriously need to set up a cash unstuffing or bill swap video because some of these envelopes are getting really, really big. Car renewal is going to be getting Gym renewal is getting five dollars. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, and thirty-three dollars. So just need to reach fifty, and I can remove this envelope and stick it into my savings. School loan is not getting anything. Debt snowball is getting like the majority of this money 450 so 450 dollars is going to be going into my debt and you guys i went really bad on my credit card debt i ended up accumulating about like 600 in the last month which i know was super bad but i'm just going to be honest with you guys i did go over budget but not to worry we just got to pay it back and just just keep it going keep it moving don't want to dwell too much on it but just wanted to let you guys know that i am a little bit over six hundred dollars on credit card debt within the month of may to june all right so the next binder that we're going to be stuffing is my favorite black binder i love the gold marbling as you can tell i love marble so this is my emergency fund and savings binder. The first one that I'm going to be stuffing is Bentley and it's getting $5. Because I did pay a lot towards debt this week, there's going to be a lot of envelopes that I won't be stuffing, but that's okay. Keep pushing. All right, so Bentley now has 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 210, 220. And Bentley is my little pup. The next one in here that I'm going to be stuffing is life insurance. This is getting $40. And the reason why I would stuff this more so than anything else is because this is actually a bill that's coming up that I have to pay. It's a bill that's $1,700 every year. Whether I want to stuff it or not, I'm still going to have to pay for it. So that's why this is a priority for me. Life insurance now has... 1, 120, 140, 160, 182, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. Main emergency is going to be getting $50. This envelope is also getting pretty thick. I'll have 50, 1, 152, 253, 320, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Let's color in another one. Rainy day is going to be getting $20. It now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. And rainy day, I'm just going to be using it as an emergency fund also. That's what it was created for. Maybe when I hit the amount that I want to hit, um, which is 2000 I'll just use it for something else. My savings account is going to be getting 25 So now in this envelope, I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. And if you guys want to know how much I have in my savings account, it's 1, 2, 3, 400. By the end of this month, I will be stuffing $100 in it. 
Alice won't be getting anything, and Vest is also going to be getting 25, but I'm going to do two tens and a five. And Vest now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, and what I have in my account is 1,100, 200, and 300. And if you guys want to stay tuned, next month I'm going to be doing a quarter closeout. I will show you guys how much I ended up saving so far this quarter. That will be a really fun video. It's going to be my first video ever, so even I'm really excited to see how much I, I really save. Next is giveaway challenge, but I'm just going to wait on this real quick. So let me just put this aside and we'll get back to it. So that's it for this binder. This white binder is our short-term sinking funds. I won't be stuffing every single envelope in here but I will be stuffing some of the main ones. Fun is the first binder and it's going to be getting 50, 70, and 75. And if you guys notice this binder is really empty because I used almost everything to pay off my debt. I did a lot of spending. Everything is literally wiped out and then we'll just build it back up for next quarter. This envelope is our self-care envelope and it's going to be getting $10. Splurge is going to be getting $14. And the last one is our tech and it's going to be getting $80. And the reason why it's getting so much is I've committed myself to saving $800 to get a vlogging camera. I'm really excited for that and so this is going to be the priority in this sinking envelope. This is probably fun. So those two things for the summer, if I'm going to be stuffing anything, I'm going to just try to stuff those two. It. Let's go back to the giveaway challenge and let's talk a little bit more about it. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support and the, the sweet comments. You guys are all so amazing and I really think that I'm, I'm doing something here you guys really excited to do this giveaway challenge so we need to stuff a $49 so this is 45 46 47 48 and 49 I have a few ideas for what I want to do for the giveaway so I know I said it would be something that you ladies or guys out there that really like luxury or designer I really wanted to start my shop and use items from my shop but unfortunately the vendor is kind of backtracked so I won't be getting my items I didn't think I was going to be hitting 100 anytime soon anyways I thought it would be months away but you guys are so amazing we need plan b and my plan b was just to get you guys started with some really beautiful binders that I especially like let me just put in a couple of photos for you guys the first rule is leave a comment down below and tell me which binder you like the most and you would like to receive in this giveaway and then also include a blue heart so I know that you're watching this as always please leave a like and you have to be publicly subscribed to me and that's it that's all the rules for the giveaway um so very short and sweet i will leave the giveaway challenge open for two weeks all entries are welcomed every person gets one entry and make sure you follow all the rules to the t i will have a winner for you guys by July 4th. Two weeks for the giveaway and I'll probably mention something in my next video as well. Let me just get to counting and make sure that we have 100 in here. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. That is amazing. I can't believe we're here, you guys. All right, that is it for all my cash stuffing this week. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and taking time out of your day to spend a little bit of time with me. I hope that this was inspiring and I hope this was satisfying for you all to watch. So I'll catch you guys next week on, I believe it's week four of June. All right, ta-ta for now, guys.